Hello everyone and welcome back to Siberia. This should be Arrowbad. <laughs> Providing that the autopilot went in the right location, this is Arrowbad, this is the spa, this is where Helena Romanski once stayed. Or maybe still stays, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, it looks like the spa itself is over there. We can enter by the looks of it. We can use the fountain, we can go over here. Let's use the fountain. What does this do? That is so beautiful. I'm looking at it. Or maybe I can use something with it. I mean, I've got the vodka. Is that how I dispose of it? No. <laughs> Shears? No, uh, do I take it apart with a screwdriver? No. Okay, fair enough. There's probably something else we're missing. Right, okay. Well, before we go into the actual spa, let's just head over in this direction and sort of explore the outskirts of this place. It didn't look all that big from the airship, honestly, but maybe it's sort of quite deceptive when you're down on the ground. That is a big airship. And what's that say? Arrowbad, well done, airship autopilot. You got me in the right location, I think. Okay, um, left or right? Let's let's go left, I guess. Oh, I see. This is a train station. All right. Okay. Sure. Uh, I wonder how Oscar's doing. Is he still sitting on my bed, wondering where I am? Probably. You got anything on the benches here? I don't think so, to be honest. Can't interact with any of this stuff, I don't believe. So, uh, let's go back and try the other side, possibly. Yeah, let's try the right side this time. Uh, ah, there we go. There's the winding mechanism. So, that does mean, I guess, that Oscar and the train are going to be up here at some point, And we have to uh, wind those springs again. Yeah, we can use it, but no point in doing it now. There's no train. So, okay. Good to know. And that's it. We can't walk on the tracks and we can't go into the uh, into the desert, into the mountain or anything like that. So, yeah, let's head back to the fountain and I suppose let's let's try the spa itself. That's why we're here. Alright, let's head over there. Hopefully the door's unlocked. Just checking out. There's nothing else to examine, really. I don't think so. Ah. Hello, hello. Good morning, sir. Good day to you, ma'am, and welcome <laughs> the to the football. Hotel Kronsky. I don't Soccer expect for some you of you. a reservation, have you? Well, no matter. We've got a few rooms left with the sea view. By far the best on offer. Uh, no, 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 no. Actually, I wasn't counting on staying in Arrowbad. I'm looking for someone. It's like that, then. Uh, so, what can I do for you? Well, 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 let's find out. Well, let's do this right. Let's go top to bottom. Hi, I'm Kate. Let me introduce myself. I'm Kate Walker. I'm a lawyer sent by a major American law firm to take care of a delicate inheritance case. Ah, very pleased to meet you, Miss Walker. Felix Matana at your service. I'm the receptionist <laughs> of this establishment. Between you and me and the brick wall, I often play the role of general manager here, too. Ah, these days the place ain't what it used to be. This hotel is truly incredible, though. It's kind of sumptuous in an old-fashioned way. You should we see haven't how seen it yet. Was our suites are. For more than a whole century, they have accommodated some of the world's greats. Would you like to take one? Don't no, think so, no. Okay, thank you. I'm not staying. I've got to get away. I'm expected. Yes. Right. Well, in that case, I don't see what I can do for you. Yes, I, I should have been back in New York a couple days ago now, really. Um, right, the mission. I want to meet someone who lives here. Yes. That's very inconvenient. None of my customers said they were expecting someone. You can't just turn up like that. We've got a very strict policy. Ugh. In this day and age, the hotel ain't too open to um, impromptu visits from any Tom, Dick, or Harry. But uh, I'm Kate. Please, I absolutely must speak with her. It's very important. If it was that important, all you had to do was ring the hotel. But people come here to rest, you see, to get away from the world. If only I could, I probably would have. Uh, don't let me keep you. Good day to you, ma'am. Honestly, if I could have called, yeah. I would have called, but I couldn't. So please, can you bend the rules just a little, sir? Just for me. Ma'am, in this hotel, we don't bend nothing for no one. With respect. <laughs> okay, I suppose that means you're not going to help me then. Sir. I really could use your help. I'm sorry, ma'am, but my helping hand only serves my hotel guests. Well, let me just say... We might have to sort of sign ourselves out, up for this. You'd also be helping out one of your very own guests. That's true. Ma'am, 
I'm not to be wound around anyone's little finger. You hear? Okay, he's playing hardball. Um, does he know Hans? Could you tell me if a certain Hans Varlberg has ever been here? On a spa holiday? I guess. Uh, yes, yes, that's it. I'm sorry, but our hotel register is strictly confidential. Hmm, Come all right. Come on, please. It's not like it's a state secret you're telling me here. And if I just let you consult our register, uh, what am I going to get out of it? What uh, do you want to get out of it? My eternal gratitude? That's just what I was expecting. Adieu, <laughs> as the French say, madame. I guess that wasn't good enough. All right, well, uh, I don't have a train with me, but let's talk about it. Usually I travel on this fantastic mechanical train. Haven't I seen some kind of a station here? Is it possible to arrive here by train then? Of course it is. What were you suggesting? Everyone comes in by airship. If I'm not very much mistaken, that's your air balloon I see getting blown to shreds in the hotel garden. <laughs> oh yeah, the airship. That's a bit different. I just borrowed that to make the round trip journey to Arlbad. Whatever. You better think about getting it off there and quick. With that contraption on my lawn, some of my clientele might have a relapse. Oh, that would be terrible, wouldn't it? Okay, well, let's talk about Arlbad itself. It's a real shame that there aren't any guests at your hotel. We had our moment of glory, but now it's all in the past. That's all. Doesn't it make you sad? Why should it? Once upon a time I met the greatest of the great. <laughs> now I got my memories. Sweet memories. <laughs> well, good for you. It's really weird. Every location that I've been to in this game, it just feels lonely. It's like it's on the, the fringe of civilization, like post-apocalyptic almost. I don't know. It's It's very odd. But that's it. He's not going to help us. Well, thanks anyway. At your service, ma'am. Can I explore freely? Evidently so. Yeah, you, you look at the static on the television, or the football, when it comes back up again. I'll just check there's nothing on the desk I can have a look at. I don't think so. He's got some mail and stuff back there, so someone is definitely staying here. I think. Anyway. Um, right. Let's head down and to the left, shall we? Okay, so let's see. We've got a statue there. This looks really nice, actually. Oh, hang on. What am I doing? There's something here I'm using. What is that? Oh, is... Pulling it for the curtain? That's right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Just let the light in. It just looks better, right? Can I interact with the other curtains? I don't think so. Well, that's how I get out, of course. Nice little seahorse emblem up there. This is very nice. Very nice. Nice big carpet, too. Okay, let's keep going towards the camera. What have we got over here? Another statue. Well, that's the same one, I suppose, isn't it? Ah, okay. Ooh, I can have a look at that door. Can I go through this? This looks like the entrance, to be honest. The door's locked. Ah. But I've still got to get in there. Of course, of course. Okay. Attack! 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 Oh, yeah, he's... <laughs> He's watching the football, isn't he? Right, okay. So, over here. We're examining this door. What's up with it? Oh, no. No, we're using the door, and it's unlocked. Okay, what do we got in here? We've got a mop. we got a bucket. Uh, uh, another screwdriver, I guess. What the hell was that? Hang on. What did I just pick up? That is detergent. That is probably going to be for the fountain outside, isn't it? Okay, what have I got planned? <laughs> Some cogs, some books, that's it though, I think. <laughs> he's getting very frustrated. I guess whoever he's supporting is losing. Okay, we've got some sofas. We've got a table down here. But I can't seem to have a, a very good look at it, so... Is there another screen? I don't think so. Well, I do have the detergent, so let's go outside. Let's try that with the fountain. If that doesn't work, I'll have to have a think. <laughs> it works. What are you doing, Kate? And more importantly, why are you doing it? Is she just looking to cause trouble now? You're not going to help me, I'm going to ruin your fountain. Oh, look at that, frothing right up. <laughs> All the suds. Uh, okay, well I can't use it again. And I don't have any more of the detergent, I used the full bottle, bloody hell. It's overkill, really. Um... I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Shall I go back inside and tell him I mean business? 
If you don't help me, I'm going to destroy your spa. Bit by bit. Oh, there he is. Right. Hello again. What was his name? Sir? Felix? Pretty poor reception on that television. Sir? Oh. Okay. Uh, he's not answering me. Perhaps he's hard of hearing or something. Oh, he's really focused on the, uh, on the football. Is there something we can actually use here at all? Can we go around at all? Is that where we get in? I think so. I'm just thinking we might be able to use this distraction pretty well. I don't know. I don't think so. What's this? We can use this. I don't think we could use this before. Oh, it's a bell. Oh, right. Yeah, just like Valadolen. <laughs> Hello. Sir? Oh, damn. He looks furious. You again? You're beginning to really overstep the mark. <laughs> I warn you, one more and I'm going to... But what the hell's going on over there? Why oh, yes. Oh, that's what the... Yeah, okay. Too much work to do. That's why I opened the curtain. Yeah, I, I, in this game, I just do things without knowing why I'm doing them, and it all seems to work out in the end. There you are. Where's he going? Oh, to get a mop, or something like that, anyway. Right! Well, if he's out there mopping up the suds, I can be in there having a look at the reception, right? Is that it? Yes? And he left the door open as well. This is just too perfect! We can go in and watch the football now. Okay, so what have we got here? Um, lots of little cupboards down here we can't use. I think that's me leaving. We can have a look at this book, it seems. Okay. Right, let, what's this? It's a button. Ah! That's going to help us get into the spa. Fantastic. Let's have a look, though. Okay, so... This is the register. Right, so let's have a look for... Helena Romanski. That's it. That's it. That's the one. Now, it looks like she hasn't departed. Is she still here? She's got an access card, apparently. She, well, she's a day visitor. I don't know. Maybe it just wasn't filled out properly. Hans Vorarlberg's here as well. 1981. He departed in 1985, so he stayed here for four years. What the hell? Okay, Helena again? Okay, now she's a resident. Should I be writing down these resident codes? I feel like I should. I have a pen and paper for this very reason. So, 1270 is Helena Romanski's code. Okay. Just out of interest. Well, okay, Hans Vorarlberg. That was 1478. That was his code. Does he crop up again? Does she crop up again? We have another page. Um, no. Two other people. I think this game's set in 2002, so there, there are two people staying here now, at the very least, on, on a day visit. Vladimir and Ivan. Okay. Right, can't use that. What's this? Edenor Hotels, the Kronsky Hotel. Okay, it's more about this place, I suppose. Sure. It's a hotel chain with a long tradition. First opened in Paris in 1928, prestigious hotels located in the historic centres of each European capital. And this would be a list of those European capitals and hotels, I suppose. Right, I'm drawn to this. What is this? Is that a phone number? It might be a phone number. Let me just write this down. 4643-3643. Okay. 15 three to five star establishments. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good, apparently. And that's that. Right, I am going to give that number a call. Can't use anything else, though. Right, I, I'm just sort of... <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to do this really quickly because I don't know when he's going to come back in. Or maybe I'm under some sort of time limit. Can we use that phone? I don't know. No, not even when we know the number, we can't use the phone. There's nothing else down here. We can't interact with what I thought was mail or something, so... Right, we should probably just get out. We can't even sit down and watch the football. Right, out we go. Yes. <laughs> now, I did use that button to get through this door, so... Let's make sure we can do that. 
Okay, good. It wasn't on a timer or anything. Wow. So this is the spa itself. Can we go for a dip? <laughs> Looks like... No, we can't. Right, how's the reception in here? Because I want to try calling this number. 4643... Three, six, four, three. It's to like a hotel or something, maybe. No? Did I put that in wrong? Did I write that down wrong? Let me just try that again. I just want to confirm I'm not being an idiot, basically. Four, six, four, three, three, six, four, three. I think. I think that's what it said. Maybe it's not a phone number. Maybe it's something else. No. Okay. Uh, if there's someone on the end of the line, they're not there right now, so... Never mind. I'll try again later on. Okay, so we can go... We can go right. We can go left. Let's go... Left, I think. Where does this go? It's very decadent, isn't it? Alright. Oh, right, hang on. Is that an automaton? I think it is. Hello there. Good afternoon, miss. Oh, hello. Are you the hotel barman? My name is James, miss. James. Wait, that's the, the bar? Nurse. Look at all those bottles, wow. I'm sorry, I didn't want to upset you. If you don't mind, miss, I would appreciate it if you would just be a little more rigorous in the terms you employ in the future. Righto. Okay. Well, let's do this properly again. Top to bottom. My name is Kate Walker. Pleased to meet you, miss. You are not here for treatment, are you? No, I'm not. I only want to meet Madame Romansky. I would be delighted to serve you tea when Madame returns from her constitutional. I don't want to impose. Maybe your mistress won't want to take tea with me. Madame likes to complain for the sake of it. Believe me, she loves visits. Well, that's absolutely that case, fantastic. Thanks for the invitation. That's confirmed it. She's still here. After all this time, she's still here. Okay. I'm looking for Madame Romansky. Do you know where she is? 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. Madame Romansky takes her daily constitutional on the pier. Ah. She is served at 5 o'clock sharp. Is it possible to go see her? As you wish. But do pay attention to the salt wind. Perfect. All right. I don't know if you can help us any more, really, but let's ask. Can you take me to Helena Romansky? Not at this hour, miss. Madam will still be watching the sea at the end of the pier. Right. So? Madam knows perfectly well that during this season, I don't go down to the pier. My wheelwork goes dicky under the double corrosive <laughs> action of the salt and sand winds. Listen, you can hear them sweeping up and down the beach and out to sea. We call it the salt wind here. It'll drive us all crazy one of these days. Come okay. on. Just make a little effort. Yeah. No. Let me have I'll a sit down. And make ready for Madame in case she needs me. She can be so unpredictable. Such violent swings of mood. Ooh, alright. Well, thanks for the warning. Do you know Hans? I presume he made you. Have you ever heard of a Mr. Vorlberg? The name is not entirely foreign to me. Ah. Really? You know Hans Vorlberg? That I cannot say, miss. Madam has forbidden me from talking about him and even mentioning his name. Why? Nostalgia, sadness, medication. Call it what you humans will. We never had this conversation, did we, miss? Madam would be very angry to learn that I know, and now you know as well. Don't worry. Mum's the word. Mum is definitely the word. Right, again, let's talk about this non-existent train. Do you know Comcalsgrad? I left my train there with its engineer. You'll never guess what. It's an automaton, just like you. <laughs> There's even a family resemblance. Yeah, kind of. Firstly, I would say that I do not know Comcalsgrad. Secondly, I have never taken a train. Thirdly, the existence of another automaton with such a degree of finesse as myself appears very unlikely. Madam has always assured me that I am a unique model. A gift from a former admirer. Yeah, oh. but you two really do look alike. And you know, I miss him. Why is he not here with his train, then? 
I would never allow Madame Romansky to leave on her own. He has a hand it's a problem. Long story, but hopefully I'll see him again soon. Such attachment is very touching, miss. It kind of is, isn't it, in a way, isn't it? Okay. And and that's going to be that. Well, I'm going, James. See you later, maybe. It would be a pleasure to see you again, miss. It kind of makes me laugh, actually. We're on the edge of Russia here, right? Uh, in Arolbad, presumably. And uh, everyone I've met so far sounds like a snooty, upper-class Brit. It's very strange. Not the accent I would, I would think they would be speaking. What's this? What is this? Oh, hang on. No point weighing lemon? myself down. No point wait it's a lemon on a plate. No point weighing myself down. Uh what? No point weighing yourself down. Why why do you get the option to pick it up then? What the hell? <laughs> I don't, no idea. Uh let's back out of this. Maybe we have to come back? I don't know. So this is the bar area. We can actually examine it, it seems. I don't need to use this console. Not yet. Not yet, but you will have to use it at some point. Maybe that's why you'll have to pick up the lemon at some point. Interesting. Okay. Look at all those bottles, though. Maybe that's what we do with the vodka. I mean, I've been carrying this around for a while now. And, uh, well, the man who used to own it is up in space now, probably suffocating. Okay, so it's a nice little sitting area. And a dining area, possibly, down here. Let's just take a look. Yeah, let's go towards the camera. Okay. It's, it's like everyone left in a rush. Seriously, like it's post-apocalyptic, I don't know. Or well, no one's been around to pick up the chairs and put the tablecloth right and everything. It's very, very odd. Okay, right, what we got here? We got, we got a couple things here. We have a door. That door is locked. That is locked, okay. And we have something next to it. Something to do with the door, possibly? Um, maybe? Is this where we put the pin number in or something? Oh, hang on, maybe, yeah, maybe. It actually might be for the access codes that we've got. So, hang on, let me just go back. Um, what was Miss Romansky's? It's 1270, I think. That's it? Yeah. Pull a lever. Darn it! No? That doesn't work. Just really? Just as I thought. Ah. Oh. Just as you thought? I didn't think that. Let's see. Um, what was Hans's? That was 1478? Doesn't look like that works. Ah. Alright. Maybe I'm barking up the wrong tree here. I don't really know what I'm doing. Maybe this is just an elaborate way of ordering food. I'm, I'm not sure. I think it'd be connected to the door, though. Alright. Is anything down here? No. We can keep going towards the camera, though, so let's keep doing that. I'm thinking, you know, judging from what I'm seeing outside the windows, that is going to lead to the pier. So, that's where we have to go. Okay, so we're at the other side of the, uh, the pool. We can go to the right, and I think we can keep going deeper into the establishment. Let's do that. Okay. Oh, wow. This place is actually quite big. Doors to something or other. Oh, hang on. Wait, wait, what am I doing? I'm picking up something. I'm picking up I'm picking up a glass, I think. Why? Because it's fancy? Kate, Kate, you, the way you just put that in your jacket without even blinking an eye. You're a thief. A crystal dish. I probably wouldn't have called it that, but yeah, that's a crystal dish. Okay. <laughs> sure. We can't take the bottle of bubbly or anything else. We can't take the cutlery. I'm sure that would go for something nice on eBay. I don't know. All right, well, let's back out of here. Let's go around the other side of the pool, then, I suppose. If we can, I think we could. Yeah, this way. If we're not going to take a dip. Uh, we've got a little room over here in the corner. And we can keep going around. Let's see what's in here, though. Oh, it's like a little locker room, I guess. What do we got here? Oh, hang on. Something on the floor. What is this? Something important? An envelope? Something like that. Don't put it in the jacket. You're going to look at it. Okay. Oh, this is one of the access cards. And temporary code 0968. 0968. Okay. How temporary is that code? Is it still going to work? 0968. Right, I've just written that down. I might go back to that panel, try that. I don't know. 
Uh, we've got some towels or might be a t-shirt or a jumper there actually. Might be clothes. Can we use any of the lockers? No? Okay. Fair enough. And that's that. Yep, okay. Yeah, so that's a locker or a changing room, I think. Right, let's keep going this way. Ah. Oh, these must be the two people, right? The two people staying here? On a day visit? Hello. I'm sorry to disturb you. Are they playing yeah, chess? I think I can thrust with my queen through there. Seems so. I can see that I'm disturbing you. Uh, hey, no, no, no. Checking two moves. Hmm. Maybe I'll squeeze him with my bishop instead. Nothing like a good squeeze from a bishop. Okay. <laughs> if you say I so. I like to disturb you any longer. Okay. Oh, I guess they can't help. They're here for some R&R. &R. Let's just leave them to, uh, to their game, I suppose. Can we, we can go this way, it seems. Yeah. Yeah, okay. What's this? Oh, we can use something with this. Hang on. Do we need to take a sample of the water? Pour vodka in it? No, not that sort of party. I uh, really have no idea what I'm doing now. Yeah, uh, if only I had some more detergent. I don't know. Can we use anything here at all? Yes, we can. There's a valve wheel at the back. Is it connected to these pipes? Are these pipes? I think so. Is this a jacuzzi or a sauna or something? Nice little private pool for something, anyway. Ah, oh, it's bubbling up. Heating up, I see. Right, now that it's hot, still can't take a sample. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm missing an item here. I don't know. All right, well, let's just leave it bubbling away. I'll come back to it, probably. Yeah, very smart, Kate. Don't run around here, just in case you do slip in. And this way. Does this take us back to the entrance? I guess it kind of would, yeah. Anything else to see? This is very, very nice. But it just feels so empty. It was, because it is empty, I suppose. Um, okay. Right. Well, we're pretty much back at the entrance again. I do have another combination to put into that panel, so let's go do that. 0968. The temporary code, which I'm hoping isn't all that temporary. There we go. And yeah, you can see, I think that's the sea out there in the distance through the window, so I think the pier is this way. So, yeah. Zero, nine, six, eight. Yes! That's the sound I love to hear. Okay. Let's go out. Alright. Wait, hang on, wait, hang on. There's something on the hook here. It's a... Is that a gas mask? I'm... Putting it on. It's a gas mask, I think. Why am I wearing a gas mask? Alright. <laughs> let's just let's just go out. Can we do that? Okay, it's not locked or anything. Yes, and this is the start of the pier. Fantastic. Okay. All right, we can't walk around the outside of the building. It seems nothing on the bench. Is there something around the rocks? Maybe I want to take a look at. Oh no, it's on this side. Oh, what's this? Hang on. Doesn't look like that works. That doesn't work. Okay, maybe I need to use something with it, like the metal shit. No? Vodka. No. If that's going to work, it looks like something's missing. Something's missing, okay. No, I don't think it's gonna be any of these, to be honest. Well, possibly screwdriver? No. Alright. I'll keep it in mind. Let's keep going. Helena Romanski is meant to be at the end of this pier somewhere. I'm sure this would be quite nice, actually, if there was, you know, any sea close by. The area, it looks like salt flats or something. Okay. Wow. Wow. All right. Hang on, is that a path down there? Uh, maybe not. Ah, oh, I thought I could go over. Have a look at the boat. Hey, you know what? There is actually someone right at the end there. In blue. Also wearing a gas mask. I guess you just need to do that out here. Oh, there's another one of those. Oh, hang on. It's a bell that's missing. Madam Romansky? Madam Helena Romansky? I hope so. Who are you? What do you want? 
I am sorry to disturb you, ma'am. My name's Kate Walker. I've come on behalf of Frank Malkovich. Kind of. Oh, Malkovich, the old son of a gun. Are you one of his celebrities? Uh, not exactly. He's a good friend of my mother's. He told me you might be here in Arrowbad. I'm American, a lawyer. To yeah, I keep telling myself that. Visit. You have come so far. It must be important. Indeed it is. I have very delicate and pressing business to attend to. I have just left... Later, my dear, later. I have a slight headache. This hotel mask, they pinch so. I have to go in. Please, could you be so kind as to call my valet? Your valet? Of course. Do you mean James? But what about the wheel work that could get all dicky? In the uh, in the salt wind. Is that why we're wearing the gas mask? Because of the salt wind? Well, that's pretty aggressive salt wind, I suppose. Um, let's go get him then, I suppose. There was something added to my notebook. I... Oh no, he's you caught me! Back here again! How dare you show your damn face round here! Get out of here immediately! Please, I absolutely must find... Miss Romansky! Oh, yes, I'm sorry. She managed to lie her way in here. Don't matter how vigilant you are, there's always one. Uh, but it won't happen again. She'll be out on her ear before you can say, uh... I hope she hasn't upset you too much. Oh, Felix. Stop being such a grizzly bear. This woman is my guest. She's your guest? But that ain't possible. This scandal didn't even know you three hours ago. What can I say? I make friends quickly. Before you offend someone. Mr. <laughs> Rubensky, please. This maniac turned up earlier and tried to wreck the fountain. You're sorry about that. For the... I said enough, Felix. Oh, yes. Please treat Miss Walker with the respect befitting one of my friends. Don't touch and don't swear. <laughs> Have I made myself clear, Mr. Smetana? Yes, yes, crystal clear, Madam Romansky. Please do accept my humble apologies. Very good, Felix. You may go now. Wow, being ordered around. And off he goes. With his tail between his legs, or his tail coat between his legs. Great. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Romansky. Okay, so I guess we need to go back and get James. Although I couldn't help but notice there's a bell on this thing and I can examine it. That's what was missing over there, wasn't it? It was a bell. Yes! That's going to work. It looks like something's missing. Of course. So it's a chain you pull to ring the bell? It's James's bell, very specifically. Okay. Do we put it back? Or do we go over to the other one? I don't know. Let's just... Let's just have a look at the uh, the rest of this pier. Is there anything else to examine, apart from Helena? It looks like we can keep going. Maybe we we don't want to be in the pool, but we don't mind diving in the sea. Oh no, I see. Nice little platform at the bottom here, for boats probably, that didn't run aground. All right. Well, there you go. This is quite an interesting place, honestly. Well, it looks like we'll be using James's belt next time. Thank you very much for watching part 16 of Siberia. Hope you're still enjoying this series. Hope to see you back in part 17, where hopefully Kate can persuade Madame Romansky to come with her on her journeys and possibly sing for a nutcase that's holding our train hostage. See you then. The door's locked. Ah. But I've still got to get in there. Of course, of course. Okay. Attack! 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 Oh, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's watching the football, isn't he? Is she just looking to cause trouble now? You're not going to help me, I'm going to ruin your fountain. Why? Because it's fancy? Kate, Kate, you, the way you just put that in your jacket, without even blinking an eye. You're a thief. Zero, nine, six, eight. Yes! That's the sound I love to hear. Let's go get him then, I suppose. There was something added to my notebook. I, Oh no, he's caught me! Back here again.